This video is brought to you by xmarshall.com. Makers of the fine rash guard like the one I'm wearing here. Use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything. In this video, we're going to break down the no hands knee bar and some great guard passes you can do off of failed attack attempts. Because your failures are not failures, they're future successes. It's Ramsey Dewey and Joe and Tian Yu. And here's what we practiced today in class. So we're fighting and I'm throwing some strikes. I want to get into a clinch. I move into an over under clinch, very common clinch here. I'm going to turn this over hook, slide down to the wrist, slide down here. I don't know if you can see this transition, but look close. I'm sliding this down to the wrist and now catching this notch right there, right there. This is kind of important. If you can get this, this is gold. I'm going to release the underhook, this arm, reach over here, grab the elbow. Oh. All right. I get a takedown. Let's do that all together. In fact, I'll do the whole sequence and break it down. So we're out here fighting. I pummel, I catch, I, I take down, hook this, hook that. I attempt a knee bar here. If he's blocking the knee bar, here, push, fight back. I'll take my elbow and jam it down here, block here. I've got a bunch of options. I'm in reverse side control here. I can move over into mount. I can strike, but let's go over a few other things. There, Joe. So... get our takedown. I want to get my hips above the knee as soon as I can. So I'm going to shoot in here, very close, very tight, get my head wedged in here. Probably squishing my microphone, but I'll do it anyway. If I'm going to test the knee bar. Okay, so what's happening? I'm pushing my hips right here, right into the knee, trying to hyperextend the leg. I've got a grapevine with my leg under here to create a fulcrum, right? And I'm immobilizing the hips with my shoulders and my arms, right? So I can squeeze there. Okay. Now, Joe, if he's smart, is going to start pushing and fighting back to avoid the knee bar. I'll take this elbow, punch it down to the mat under his arm, right? While he's framing with his legs, I've got an easy guard pass there. Okay. Now, if this arm is separated from the body, okay, because my elbow is under his armpit, I've got a nice setup for a Kimura there. And there are lots of ways to finish that. If you don't know the Kimura, go learn it. I'm not going to teach it to you here. That's, that's amateur hour. Anyway, um, here, let's do this sequence a couple more times. So we get our takedown, get my hips above his knee, hug the hips, right? You fight back. So I wedge this elbow here. If it's an MMA fight, we can boom, start hitting him in the face, boom, and then drive this down here. Okay. Now we've got a nice guard pass. And step over into mount if we need to. All right. If he starts fighting back with this arm, here, fight back. Okay, now he's pushing here. Now we can start isolating this arm this way or this way, depending on how it goes. Um, sometimes, here, fight back. I'll give him a little space right here. Fight back. Keep going. And this arm might start coming through. Okay, if the hand comes through, we got the nice setup for a Kimura right there. Okay, so Joe just got the knee bar. Passing into full mount. And now attacking from there, okay? Your chin here, give that a try. Pass. Got to set up for the Kumura there. Let's troubleshoot some positions because if when you run this live, these things are going to happen here. Joe, start passing the guard. So here, he's got the hips. If there's a little space here, like I can start pummeling right now. Now get get your head super tight to the hip, right? If there's no space on the other hand, that's that's not possible. If I can. Start elevating my hips, right? Getting here. Now I can start working to a front headlock. I can take this leg, get a butterfly hook in there, get under hooks, start cranking, and get sweeps and all that. If you give your opponent a little bit of space, he's got a lot of options. 
All right, one more thing. If, if Joe gets the takedown and he starts doing this, but this knee right here is uh, not under his hips, I can turn this into a butterfly hook as well, and now I can start making this into an underhook. If you don't know what that's for, we can start you know, elevating in all kinds of nasty ways there, right? But there's a simple solution. So get your hips above my knee there. And now, look, there's no wiggle room. Now, can you finish the knee bore? Yep. And if I start making space by pushing and framing, can you pass the guard? Of course you can. Yeah. So if you're having trouble with any part of the sequence, it's space. It's, it's an issue of like this much space. If there's enough space to wedge a hand inside, and I don't know how well you can see that, it's going to be really easy to shut this down. If there's no space, and it's, it's a really easy thing to do, two things to remember here, Joe. Come on down here. One, get your hips above the knee. Okay, if I'm below the knee here, if his knee's bent and it's up here, here, Joe, fight back. He's going to have an easy time fighting back. Go ahead. He already has an underhook. What you can't hear here is my muffled voice because I give Joe space, so he's strangling me. My microphone is being crushed. Rams, you just taught me a crappy technique. Boo, I hate this guy. But let's change one little thing here, which is I'm going to get my hips above the knee. Okay, and I'm going to control these hips very tight. And I'm going to bring my head in here. Okay? Now, some of you who probably never grappled before are probably thinking, what if he starts punching me in the head? Well, if that's a problem, don't camp out in that position. Move to a better one. Also, you have to remember, the only spot that's really available on the head is the top right here. And that's a strong spot, not a weak one. So... We are going to sacrifice some wimpy little punches, potentially to the hard part of my head for a superior position so I can properly end the fight. So we have the takedown. Joe's gonna get his hips above the knee, control the hips, knee bar, okay? If Chinyu fights back, he's framing, he's pushing. We've got that guard pass, step over to mount, climb to high mount, and attack. All right, perfect. Switch. So we got our over-unders, our ankle pick, climbing high above the knee, hugging the hips, knee bar. If you're, Joe's framing, fighting back, we'll pass the guard, climb high into the mount, and attack. Perfect. Nice job, guys. So give that a try. Remember to troubleshoot this stuff. If you learn something on the internet, troubleshoot it. Go to the gym, try it out. If it's not working, start asking questions. Why? Why? Take a video of yourself when you practice, just like we did right here. And we showed it to you so you can see why it's not working or why it is working, why this part doesn't work, why this part does work. That's how we get out there and train, guys. All right, thank you for helping. Thank you for watching. Now get out there and train.